The Orion is a medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle UAV developed by Aurora Flight Sciences. <laughs> Background Work on the Orion began in 2006, when the U.S. Army funded it as a hydrogen-fueled high-altitude, long-loiter UAV. Originally, it was conceived as a single-engine, hydrogen-fueled, high-altitude unmanned aircraft intended to carry a 400 pounds payload to 65,000 feet meters, having a 7,000 pounds gross weight. Similar aircraft included the Aerovironment Global Observer and Boeing Phantom I. Aurora was selected by the Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL in 2007 for the Ultra Long Endurance Study Contract to look at fixed wing alternatives to the Blue Devil II and Long Endurance Multi Intelligence Vehicle (LEMV) surveillance airships then being explored, both ultimately cancelled and pushed beyond the endurance limits of the MQ-1 Predator and RQ-4 Global Hawk. They submitted an unsolicited proposal to the AFRL for the Orion, powered by conventional engines, in 2008. The company won a joint capability technology demonstration contract to build the Orion in 2009, which led to a contract for the medium altitude global intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance and communications relay magic joint concept technology demonstration in 2010. By then, the Orion had been redesigned to be a twin-engine, turbo-diesel-powered, medium-altitude UAV capable of flying for 120 hours at 20,000 feet meters with a 1,000 pounds payload and an increased gross weight of 11,000 pounds the first demonstrator was rolled out on the 22nd of November 2010, 88 days after the contract award. In 2011, the program was transferred to the Air Force's Big Safari office. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Design The revolutionary aspect of the aircraft is meant to be its time on station cost, planned to be only 20% the cost per hour compared to current aerial surveillance aircraft like the Predator, MQ-9 Reaper, and MC-12W Liberty through efficient aerodynamics and propulsion, lightweight airframe, reliable systems, autonomous operation, and requiring fewer takeoffs and landings. Its ferry range is projected to be 13,000 nmi, 15,000 miles, 24,000 kilometers, longer than even the Global Hawk, which enables a time on station capability ranging from 113 hours at 550 nmi, 630 miles, 1,020 kilometers to 47 hours at 3,000 nmi, 3,500 miles, 5,600 kilometers. With a mission range possible to over 9,500 nmi, 10,900 miles, 17,600 kilometers, the Orion can be positioned much further from the patrol area, reducing costs that would otherwise be needed to transport an aircraft to a closer main operating base. Unit price is expected to be less than the Reaper. The aircraft has an empty weight of 5170 pounds, 2350 kilograms and carries 5000 pounds, 2300 kilograms of fuel. It has the capacity to carry 2500 pounds, 1100 kilograms of sensors and weapons spread through the airframe, able to support 950 pounds, 430 kilograms in the nose, 850 pounds, 390 kilograms in the aft fuselage and 1200 pounds, 540 kilograms under the wings. 
The base sensor is the Raytheon MTSB Electro-Optical, Infrared Turret, but options can include a Ground Moving Target Indication radar under the nose, a multi-camera wide area surveillance sensor in the aft bay, and external fuel tanks and Hellfire missiles under the wings. Its wingspan is only slightly longer than the Global Hawks, made of a long span, one piece, low drag, lightweight composite wing from tip to tip, which reduces weight and cost but prevents it from being disassembled and airlifted to another location. Top speed is slow at 90 knots, 100 miles per hour, 170 kilometers per hour by design to balance fuel efficiency and power consumption with weather tolerance. Propulsion comes from a pair of Ostro engine AE300 diesel engines rather than more expensive and less fuel efficient gas turbines. Although it is designed to fly for five days carrying standard payload weight, it could fly for a week with a lighter payload. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Operational history. Topic: <laughs> Flight testing. The first flight was expected by August 2011, but progress was limited by funding. Orion's first flight occurred on 24 August 2013, flying for 3.5 hours at 8,000 feet 2, meters at an airspeed of 60 knots 69 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour. From 5 to 8 December 2014, the Orion performed an 80-hour flight at Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake witnessed by the National Aeronautic Association, breaking the 30.4-hour endurance record set by the Global Hawk in 2001. The aircraft flew between 4,500 to 10,000 feet (1,400 to 3,000 meters) with 1,000 pounds (450 kilograms) of ballast to simulate payload. Upon landing, it had 1,700 pounds of fuel remaining, enough to fly for an additional 37 hours, but endurance was limited by the window of availability of the range for testing. Four pilots rotated over the course of the flight. The December flight was the 18th for the Orion, logging 158 total flight hours. Aurora hoped the flight would convince the Air Force to procure the Orion for persistent surveillance, and the company looked at several other roles including a communications relay and to compete against the MQ-4C Triton Naval Recon UAV. After five years of development and completing its flight demonstration program, by September 2015 the aircraft was relegated to a company hangar with the Air Force deciding not to buy it. Several reasons were given to explain this, including budget problems, a 40 meters (132 feet) wingspan that cannot fit in many existing Air Force hangars, less speed, payload, and weapons capacity compared to the MQ-9 Reaper, and primarily the lack of an operational requirement for a multi-day, long-endurance unmanned aircraft. Aurora is looking internationally to try to bring the Orion into service for missions like long-range surveillance and maritime patrol. The company is trying to raise money from private equity sources to build a system of three Orions to be leased to customers. Even though interest might not be in buying them, flight time could be made available for rent to users and combatant commanders on a fee for service basis with services provided. This has been done by the U.S. Special Operations Command, buying ISR services from in situ for much smaller ScanEagle drones flown by contractors. By September 2016, the Orion was being taken out of storage to fly again. A plan was approved by the company to build one three-vehicle system and offer the capability to the military as a contractor-owned or operated ISR service. 
The new Block 1 design features a few exterior changes, such as a slightly smaller tailplane surface, as well as changes to other structures and systems to offer by late 2019. A series of demonstrations are planned with the U.S. Coast Guard to experiment with surveillance missions over maritime borders. See also Aerovironment Global Observer Boeing Phantom I MQ-9 Reaper RQ-4 Global Hawk